What's up guys? So two days ago I posted this video on my TikTok and I got I got some comments uh, asking me how I did it, how I did the textures and how I animated them. So I'm going to give you a quick run through of how I animated the textures. Now for starters, um, you need to take your texture to Photoshop. Photoshop or Illustrator. Um, break it down, make it anim make it re animation ready. Uh, that is putting each layer that is going to be animated on its own, and then from there uh, you will let me first close this. From there you'll export it to After Effects. Now in After Effects, I um, in After Effects you will import it. Import import the file hold on hold on let me just drag drag mine um you'll import the file into after effects sorry that did come in you'll import the file into after effects after effects composition with any layer sizes and then you go on to animate now after you animate it depending on the way you like um you will export it as a PNG sequence now that is very key that is vital for you to export it as a PNG sequence so you'll export it as a PNG sequence now for me I already have mine exported as a PNG sequence and uh, now we shall go to Cinema 4D and I show you how I did it and uh, we are in C4D right now and this is how basically I created it I created a, a material for the label of course after unwrapping and all that for a full I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to make a full tutorial for this so I'll come to my material it takes a bit longer to load I don't know why it does that always now in my shader graph I'll just get rid of this don't need them for now get rid of this we are just there to add on to the onto the texture now here I have my image texture right i have my image section now the most important thing is when you come to your image image texture you'll come to general and on general you'll switch from image to animation now you keep the mode simple of course depend, depending on what you have it could be a loop so you will choose a loop or a ping pong so you choose one of the two so me i will choose simple because it's what I have right now, not frame. Now from there, um, you'll come and select range. Now on range, um, it's very important to, let me just open where this is, moment. It's, um, it's very important to know the first and the last um, frames. So the first frame is 0, 0, the last frame is 89. So I'll come here and I'll put 0, 89. Uh, let me just load this new anime, animation that I have. So I'll open. Cost well, it is going to change everything now. Um, yeah, animation, change everything to simple. And then you detect the frames you have. It's also key to know the, 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 the frame rate that you used in After Effects. It's the same frame rate that you will use here. And it's the same frame rate that you will use in your project. Yeah. Any messing up on these details will create uh, funny looking textures on your, on your product on, or on your model. So after inputting all of this, I will just run the redshift render view so that I can show you what, uh, what is happening. So this is what is happening. I might not see it well, so I am going to turn off the cleaner and turn off all the lights so that you see it easily 
So this is what is happening. In fact, let me even get out of this camera and just... Uh, so I'll get out of the camera so that I can show you what is happening. I'd animated this one differently, so... This is what is happening. You have your textures animated. And this, this is really good for, let's say you have a, a UI to animate, you can use this. Of course, if you don't want to like model each and every element that is in that uh, phone UI, you can use this technique. Um, you can also use it like for products, like the way I've done here, which really creates uh, some nice looking animations. And yeah, this is... Uh, how I created this. Uh, this was one of those first tutorials, uh, the tutorials that go faster. If you need a full tutorial on how I set up this scene and everything, you can let me know down in the in the comment section. And yeah, thank you for watching this video. And this is Emma still. I'm going to keep on creating more of this content and I look up to giving you more of this content. Thank you. Thank you guys. Um, oh, one last thing. I will not stop showing you guys this. If you have a scene like mine, let's say it has two cloners with different, um, different geometry on it. Of course, this scene would take long to render, like ridiculously long to render. But there's an easy fix to that. Look how cool this looks like. Looks nice. There's an easy fix to that. When you come to your Redshift settings and you go to the Advanced tab, let's say Redshift, Advanced tab, there's something that most of you ignore. And it is, it is a simple tool that is going to help you render out your scenes faster. If you're willing to... Um, if you're willing to wait longer, well, you can definitely go to the next video or watch another tutorial. But this is for those who um, have had time and they want to know how to cut their render times. Now, here's a quick fix. Under Unified Sampling, usually this would be on 0 0.01, which is the lowest and the ideal one, the one that is um, advisable for people to use. Um, your denoising would also be off. Now, a scene like this would ideally take my machine um, four to five minutes to render a frame. But, with denoising enabled, of course you lose some of the detail, but not every detail. And with a unified sampling of 0 0.5, that time would be cut from five minutes to one and a half minutes. For me, that is a win-win situation because I deal. I deal, I, I mean, I mean, uh, I mean, an agency that is that has crazy deadlines so the first i get something out the better yeah of course i would still have my good look and quality but i would have rendered it in a short period of time if you find this helpful please um leave a comment hit the subscribe button and uh smash that like button yeah um I look forward to seeing you guys next time. I'll be uploading another tutorial on how I, on the thought process, how I set up the scene and, and everything, the lighting, um, the textures, the inspiration and all that. And be sure to catch the tutorial when I upload it. Thank you guys. Bye-bye. Um,